Have you ever found it difficult to change between strumming chords and picking single notes? Something like this? You're strumming along and then you want to play a lick. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you a cool trick of how to make this change easier. It turns your index finger into a pick. We'll also learn this really cool boogie woogie blues lick for a C7 chord. Hope you'll get your ukulele and stick around for a good time jamming. Let's begin by learning the lick. We'll play it with our thumb to make things easier. Then we'll learn the index finger technique. The lick starts with your thumb picking the open C string twice then the third fret of the C string, then fourth fret of the C string. Move across to the second string, third fret, play that note twice, then the fifth fret twice, then move across to the first finger, third fret, play that note twice, and come on down, fifth fret, second string, third fret, second string, and then third fret, third string, fourth fret, third string, and then you're back at the beginning. Let's loop this together nice and easy. Such a cool boogie woogie blues lick. Just try to get an even sound, a relaxed touch. As you can see, the lick works great on low or high G tuning. And if you like to strum with your thumb, you could be strumming a C7 chord and then hop off the C7 chord, play the lick. Here we go. Back to strum. Now a more advanced thing to do is to use the index finger as a pick. It's not as tricky as you might think. Now when you play with the index finger, it lets you change between your index finger strumming and your picking in a nice way. It takes a little getting used to, and I got a couple of tricks here to help you. Start by pointing your finger out, touch your thumb right about there between the first and second knuckle, and just pluck the open C string. Notice how my index finger is resting on the next string. The motion comes from the wrist, and the tip of the index finger is very loose. Now, this technique is new. It's a good idea to practice it slowly, just to get used to resting on the next string on the downstroke, coming up and not touching the other string. So down and up, the motion is generated from the wrist, just like you're strumming. The only difference is, is that you're only picking one string down and up. It won't be too long before you can do this in your sleep, right? And once you're comfortable with it, try it with a lick. And here is a better view of my picking hand. Three, four. It's a really cool way to go back and forth between strumming with your index and... All right, so I hope this serves you well. We're gonna practice in the next part of the video. Now, let's put this all together and practice it so you can get it into your playing today. I've also got one more cool tip for you. If you're digging this so far, getting some value out of this video, will you please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to this channel. I've been teaching and performing all over the world for 25 years, sharing practices that have helped me to make my own music journey easier. Hope you enjoy these videos. If you click the subscribe button, you'll be kept in the loop of every time I post a new one. Now the bridge that connects the strumming chords to the individual notes is going to be the open string. Awareness of the moment you change will help you jump onto the lick and keep on going. Let's do this really slow, then we'll do it a little faster, and then we'll pick up the speed. Two, three, four, notice I strum, and then when I begin the lick, always starts on that open C string. Here it ends open C string. That open string gives me a moment to hop from chord to the lick. So why don't you pause the video right now and just practice that slow speed rewind and review. Let's go a little faster now. One, two, three, four, one, two. Here comes the lick.
here comes the lick. As we go faster, it's natural for things to get a little tighter. That's why it's important to stop at the moment you change from the chord to the lick. Stop and see if you're ready. Have you connected the chord to the lick? And can you land on that bridge nice and easy? It doesn't take too many repetitions before you start to see some progress, especially when you stop and just pay attention to what your fingers are doing. Now this technique is new and it's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to it. Make sure that you're swinging from the wrist and touching the string lightly. It actually takes a lot less effort than you might think. It feels like you're strumming, but you're just playing one string at a time. Now let's do it faster. Are you ready? Two, one, two chords, then lick. Lick. One, two, three, go. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to click this video right here for more cool bluesy licks. And I hope you'll subscribe to this channel, keep in the loop of everything I'm offering here at Ukulele Zen. Happy jamming, and I look forward to seeing you in another video sometime soon.